everyone! How's it going? It's Vasco from the Angular University. In this lesson, we are going to present the solution for the exercise of the section HTTP and services. Now, let's start at the beginning. We are going to first detect the key app events on the search box and we are going to print the current search to the screen, just as a starting point. So we do that with observable from event. We pass it in the DOM element input that we have available of the input box and we specify that we want to detect the key app event. Let's simply print this to the screen using a do statement. Now, we need to subscribe to this observable again, otherwise nothing happens. Let's see this in action. So when we type on the input box, we can see that the current search is being outputted to the screen. Now, how are we going to implement the type ahead functionality? What we want to do is in each key app event, we want to pass the content of the current search into a HTTP get call in the backend so that the search is returned to us. We want then to assign the result of the search to the lessons list on the screen. How are we going to do this? Can you guess which RxJS operator we need to use? It's one that we have seen before. Let's use, for example, the switch map operator. So each time that the input stream of key app events emits a value containing the current key, we are going to switch this to another observable. That observable will be the result of doing a network call to the backend, passing in the value of the current search. We're going to retrieve the value of the current search using input.value. And the output of this is of course also an observable that we can assign to a search variable. What you need to do is we need to subscribe to this observable. Again, without this, nothing will happen. To complete this, let's assign the value of this combined observable whenever a new value arrives from the server, meaning whenever a search result arrives from the server, we're going to assign it to the lessons variable, meaning that the result of the search will be displayed on the screen. And that's it. We have implemented a type ahead using RxJS and we have implemented a search service in Angular 2. Let's see this now in action. If we now type on the type ahead, we can see that the results are being constantly filtered. Now, another interesting thing. Instead of using load lessons, let's use load delayed lessons. If we now type really quickly in the input box, we can see that the results of the first searches that we've made, so the result of the search containing only the character age, for example, is cancelled. Successive searches are cancelled because they have been invalidated by a more recent search. So again, this is a good example of something very powerful that we can implement easily using RxJS and observables. The reason why this works like this is that the switch strategy for combining multiple observables will only subscribe to one observable at a time. So you click on age, the stream for key app events emits a value and that gets transformed via switch map to an observable. Now, that observable is immediately subscribed to. Now you type E, so you have the string age E from the word hello. Now you have a second value in the key stream of key app events. That triggers the creation of a second observable that will send a search to the backend of age E from the word hello. That also triggers the unsubscription from the previous value observable. That's because switch only subscribes to one observable at a time. And the unsubscription from the previous observable triggers, as we have seen in a previous lesson, the cancellation of the HTTP request. And this concludes our small course on HTTP and observables. You should now be able to create service layers for your application using observables as return types. Combine observables with some commonly used RxJS operators to do commonly needed functionality in your application. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to check other sections such as routing forms 
and many other topics on Angular 2.